the Theatre Cafe this afternoon. We have been joined by Giles and Lizzie, who are currently starring in Toast down at the Other Palace. Welcome, welcome. Give it up for Giles. Lovely to see you. So, tell us a bit about the show. Who's going? Who's going? You go. Um, so, hello, my name's Giles, and I'm playing Nigel Slater in Toast. And what is Toast about? Toast is a stage adaptation of Nigel Slater's uh, award-winning, best-selling book, Autobiography, which he published in 2003. Um, if anyone doesn't know who Nigel Slater is, then, then get online and read about it, because he's the most wonderful chef. Um, and this, uh, this has been a, a production which uh, has been being developed for about two years now, and I'm the new boy on the show, but Lizzie's actually done it. She's in Manchester and in Edinburgh. Um, so she's sort of seen the development, but now we've arrived in London and we've been playing for a couple of months and uh, we've got a couple more months and then we go off on tour as well. So uh, Lizzie, tell us who you play. So amongst other things, my, uh, my main job is to play Nigel's mother. I know you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I didn't like yeah. it. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the main one, but we all, it's a small cast, a cast of five. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have a lot of work to do. We sort of change throughout and have lots of different tracks. It's very playful. Um, but yeah, Mummy Slater is the main, is the main one. Yeah. And Giles, what's it like playing the person whose book it is and, you know, a, a real person apart from anything else? Is there massive pressure there? Um, yes, in a, in a word, <laughs> yes. Because uh, Nigel's very involved in the show as well. So what he does is he tends to turn up, sometimes unannounced, uh, at rehearsals and things like that. So initially it was terrifying, but the more he turns up, uh, and he's so generous and kind and helpful and wonderful um, that I've really become uh, used to him being around. And it's actually lovely whenever he drops into the theatre to watch the show, which he does do from time to time. There's a wonderful energy that ripples throughout in the audience and on stage as well. And why is it called Toast? Because I'm pretty sure uh, Nigel is obviously a highly acclaimed chef. I'm pretty sure that Toast isn't really his his best dish, let's just say. I'll, go, I'll take this one. <laughs> the reason yeah. it's called Toast is because um, Nigel and his mother have this, this very beautiful relationship, um, but for all Nigel's skill in the kitchen, his mother has zero. So her cooking is, is terrible. It's pretty shoddy, but the one thing, well, she can't even quite nail, but the one thing that she does love to make, Nigel, is toast, and it's something that they, they, they bond over, and that's a, a way of her nurturing and loving Nigel. But even that is, it's a little bit tricky, it's quite often burned, so, yeah. <laughs> and, and how about you two, can you cook? Is it something you've been able to bring to it, or is it proper acting, having to pretend you know what you're doing? Um, I think it's a rudimentary kind of, you know, basis of cooking, which I have toast. knowledge. I can do, I can do <laughs> toast, I can do cheese on toast, beans on toast. Um, there's a bit of cookery in the show. We also, uh, we also give out some food during the show as well. Ooh, very exciting. We, like we also run up into the audience and give people delicious treats. Um, all Nigel states are approved. Um, and yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, I encourage any, anyone who's a fan of cookery, cooking will absolutely love the show. Okay, favourite toast topping. Go. Marmite and then beans on top and then maybe oh, some cheese. No. To really mix it up. Wow. Oh, I know. Wow. Can't be honest. <laughs> no, I actually, I just love uh, peanut butter, sometimes with a bit of jam on top of that yes. as well. But what about a uh, white, white or brown? Oh, well, I mean, I just like every every type of toast, but not Marmite. Oh, dear. Really? Oh, no. You love no, it or you hate no, it? No, no. How about you, white <laughs> or brown? Well, uh, brown for savoury and then for pudding you have the white. So you can make a whole oh, meal. I love how much you've thought this through. Make a meal out of toast based snacks. No problem. <laughs> Okay, final question. Why should people come and see this show at the other palace? Oh, um, it's a fantastic show. It's very energetic and it's got, it's got a lot of fun, wonderful moments, very heartfelt moments in it. Our wonderful director, Johnny Reardon, is one of the boys from Frantic Assembly who were the movement guys behind Curious Incident, amongst many other things. And so there's a lot of that influence in the show as well. So if you like Curious, you'll love Toast. Uh, and if you've got an Nigel Slater, what are you doing? Why haven't I bought a ticket? <laughs> yes, absolutely, all of that. And it's just a, it's a nostalgic, lovely, fun, moving, gentle tales. Beautiful, beautiful show. Come.
Definitely. <laughs> go, go. And you can get tickets by clicking the link in this post. So grab some tickets by clicking the link, or you can come and buy them here, obviously. Um, we're going to head over to Instagram now and answer some questions over there. So if you've got any more questions for Giles and Lizzie, uh, head over to our Instagram story and ask away. But for now, thank you so much for coming in. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. And um, get your tickets for Toast. Bye, everyone. Woo!